What's going on, guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost, and we all know that Disney Star Wars is in absolute shambles right now. Even The Mandalorian, the flagship show on Disney+, Plus, has massive issues behind the scenes in production, with two Mandalorian books being cancelled because they have no idea what they're going to do with this season. To Pedro Pascal taking the job as Joel in Last of Us Part 2, putting that ahead of priority for The Mandalorian, as well as the continued delays in filming. But Lucasfilm wants to try to tell us no everything's fine here and members of the media as well as others continue to try to perpetuate this narrative that Star Wars is where everyone wants to be everyone wants to be working with Disney Star Wars right now when in fact that's just not true and Benedict Cumberbatch made that clear for everyone to see when he was asked in an interview if he is interested in playing this character from Star Wars he flat out said no I'm good man zero interest from me take a look at this this is from Bounding in the comments John F. Trent. Benedict Cumberbatch declares he has zero interest in playing Star Wars character Grand Admiral Thrawn. Now, this is being reported by a lot of people because it was pretty high profile because it was on a Collider interview where Weintraub, Collider Frosty himself, uh, had an interview with Benedict Cumberbatch and brought up Grand Admiral Thrawn. Now, before we even get into this interview, Grand Admiral Thrawn used to be one of my absolute favorite Star Wars characters, and he still is, but he has a slight blemish on his record, because instead of the expanded universe where he was an absolute monster, he was a beast of a villain, he got brought into Dave Filoni's Star Wars Rebels when he was treated like an absolute bitch. He got cucked by this little group of ragtag people that he should never have had a problem with. Grand Admiral Thrawn, they tried to bring him into Canada to help satisfy the expanded universe fans, but when they brought him in, they made him into a children's villain. They made him into a Scooby-Doo villain, which completely neuters him as a character, unfortunately. The real one is still there. I highly recommend you read the original Thrawn trilogy, starting with Heir to the Empire. But anything in Disney canon that he's in is pretty much not worth reading, to be honest with you. But he gets asked about this. Doctor Strange actor Benedict Cumberbatch made it perfectly clear he has zero interest in playing Star Wars character Grand Admiral Thrawn. While promoting his upcoming film, The Courier, Cumberbatch was asked about char the character by Collider's Steve Weintraub. Collider Frosty, as many of you know him. Uh, more, most recently, he was making fun of Zack Snyder on Twitter, and he tried to delete the gif and really, oh, I apologize, I didn't mean to laugh at his pain. No, you did. We, we all know what you were doing, Collider Frosty, you little bitch. But anyway, let's listen to this. Have you been watching The Mandalorian? No, no, actually, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I'm trying to catch up with films this year to, to vote for the BAFTAs and the Oscars. So um... that that tells you a lot. Have you watched The Mandalorian? Uh, no, no, I haven't. And I can't do a lot of the BAFTAs because fortunately we have been nominated in the Mauritanian. So that's a little plug there. But yeah, no, I, that's a way of saying I haven't had much TV time. And because I'm making Doctor Strange. So sure. yeah, I've got, well, that, just... I've got that stored up trees. Why? Why? What are they saying? I, I was going to say that there's... Back at? There's what? a lot of people that would like you to play a character called Grand Admiral Thrawn. And I'm just curious if you've heard people saying this because he, I could see you playing this role. Grand, like, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Does he turn into Peter Cushing or something? Is that? No. It's a, he's, okay. yeah, it is zero idea who the character is. Now, before he gets onto the part where he says zero interest, you know, this is a fan casting that has been around for a long time, to be honest with you. There are a lot of pictures like this out there of Benedict Cumberbatch as Thrawn. This has been something that people have brought up basically ever since you know, Disney bought Star Wars and they thought that they might do this at some point around the same time that Benedict Cumberbatch was really taking off and his career was really growing. People started to do this fan casting. And honestly, I do think he would make a great Grand Admiral Thrawn, but let's see what he thinks. He's blue. He's a very cool character. That's a villain that would you'd be under like a blue makeup thing anyway i'm just curious if, if i think that's uh, that, that's a straight no for me right now I, I, I there's no way i want to be turned blue i could turn the air blue very very recently but no no seriously i i i, I have precious time with my children and uh i think sitting in a makeup show being painted blue and the amount of time it would take to do that and then take it off at the end of the day might might just it's not the right time in my life for that <laughs> 
<laughs> so that is a straight no. Now, of course, it's mostly revolving around the makeup and everything like that. But uh, let's just be real. It's very clear that he had no interest in playing this character. No, no, no one had approached him about it. That certainly seems sure. He didn't even know who the character was. So for all the people that thought that that was a possibility, I guess that is going to be a no. And when what he said, you know, I have no interest in putting a bunch of makeup on, anything like that, that's going to be the same for anyone who takes this role. Now, if you remember, uh, WDW Pro, <laughs> the, the famous scooper, WDW Pro, came out with this theory of, he, he, they reported, that Robert Downey Jr. is in talks to play that. Listen, I, I will shit my fucking pants if that happens, to be honest with you. The idea of Robert Downey Jr. coming in to play that type of a role with what Disney Star Wars currently is, I know that he's friends with Favreau, but you gotta realize that that kind of thing would still be the case. Now, maybe it would be a minimal role. Maybe you wouldn't have a whole lot of screen time. But if you wouldn't have a whole lot of screen time, how are you gonna get somebody to that level, Robert Downey Jr., to come in there and play... A character like Grand Admiral Thrawn, where you are going to have to do makeup chair like that. A lot of people just don't see it happening. And that's a lot of what the rest of this article is. The different rumors that have been out there. Benedict Cumberbatch has definitely been thrown out there a lot. Uh, but it's not only him. Scooper Mikey Sutton at Geekosity claimed in May 2020, I've held on to this for months now and I'm tired of waiting for additional details. Thrawn will make his live action debut in the next two years. And obviously we got the name drop that Ahsoka said, where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? That happened uh, when? Back in, uh, back in season two of The Mandalorian. So sometime this winter. So we know that that is probably going to play into whatever they plan to do, whether it's in the Ahsoka show or in the future of The Mandalorian. And as we go down, we see that in addition to Robert Downey Jr., someone else was actually uh, forwarded to play it. While Cumberbatch ruled out, while Cumberbatch ruled out playing Grand Admiral Thrawn, the rumors have pointed to Lars Mikkelsen and even Robert Downey Jr. Now, I do think that Lars Mikkelsen would maybe make a little more sense. I think Mads Mikkelsen is actually a great character to portray him, but he's obviously already been in Rogue One in the Star Wars universe, in the Disney Star Wars universe. So that is pretty much out of the window, but his brother, Lars Mikkelsen, I do think that would make sense, but again, he's he's pretty old, so is Robert Downey Jr., older than you would imagine Grand Admiral Thrawn would be, but as you can see, what they've done with Bo-Katan, who's way older than Katie Sackhoff is right now, and Rosario Dawson's age is probably a little bit off for Ahsoka as well, not quite as much though, they probably don't care a whole lot about that, and with makeup on and all those things, both of them could certainly be made to look the appropriate appropriate age. At the end of the day, I don't know how much credence I put in any of this, but one thing's for sure, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, zero interest in playing this character. This is not this role that everyone's demanding the way they seem to think, but all indications about Grand Admiral Thrawn certainly seem to suggest that once again, instead of creating something by themselves, Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are going to take something else and bastardize it, meaning the Thrawn trilogy that I recommended earlier in this video. It certainly seems that one of the things they want to do is kind of retell that story about Thrawn gathering forces to take on the New Republic. But instead of Luke Skywalker being the hero, Ahsoka Tano will be the hero of this story because of course it would, because it's Dave fucking Filoni. And again, these guys just take a lot and they bastardize a lot of it and they put it in a package and people say, wow, that looks like Star Wars. And that, uh, that's basically the story of The Mandalorian. But what do you think about Benedict Cumberbatch saying, nah, I'm good, has zero interest in playing Grand Admiral Thrawn, zero interest in playing a Star Wars character? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons, I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.